Hi, welcome to the latest in my technology videos. Um, and I want to show you this time about something quite incredible called the Smart DNS Service. Now, you probably, you may not know, you may know what um, DNS stands for. It stands for DNS, uh, Domain Name Service. And it's basically the service that's used all over the internet to um, translate uh, our normal internet names like google.com, bbc.co.uk into um, IP addresses which the um, computers use to communicate, okay? Um, without going too much detail, without DNS, uh, the internet would pretty much break, okay? Uh, but normally people won't um, do much about uh, DNS. It's normally the DNS server is set automatically by our ISP or your router or your um, Wi-Fi access point. Um, so you don't really need to access it much. The only time people will do is if they live in a country like Iran or Turkey, where those countries of governments often use DNS to filter what you can see and what you can't see. Um, DNS can control access to different websites. <coughs> now, the service I'm going to show you, called Smart DNS, is actually used to bypass all these restrictions. It's an alternative to something called um, like proxies and VPNs, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, basically, I am at the moment in the UK. Um, as hopefully you can see, I'm watching there's Wimbledon on the BBC iPlayer. BBC iPlayer is only accessible inside um, the UK. If you try and access it from America or Germany or um, France or wherever, you'll get blocked. Let me just pause that. Now, that's great with UK sites for me, but while I'm in the UK, I also get blocked from German, French, um, and US sites. So, for example, if I go to Hulu, which is an incredible American website that's got loads of TV stuff, and I try and watch any program, let's watch this one, um, I'll get this message, I'll get blocked as well, because what it does, just like the BBC website, it's looked up my IP address and my location, and if I'm not in the right country, i.e. USA, I'll get blocked. So if I try and access Hulu, I get blocked. I get blocked if I NBC, ABC, Pandora. I also can't access the uh, incredible American version of Netflix, which is way, way better than the British version, um, because I'm in the wrong location. Okay, so it works for everybody. It's just what we, we get blocked for different things in different places. Okay, I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to show you how Smart DNS works. It's incredibly easy to use, okay? Um, I'm just going to get up my... Uh, oops, that's wrong. Uh, network settings. And here I've got where I'm going to change my DNS setting to a Smart DNS server, okay? Here it's in Network and Internet Sharing Center. It's... The se it's in a different location, whatever you're using, whether you're using um, a Mac, uh, Windows 8, Windows XP, Vista, or a smart TV. Somewhere you will find these connection settings. So I'm here in Internet Protocol version 4, Properties, and I'll see this. Um, it's usually on things like smart TVs and um, the Wii and Playstations. It, it's much easier to find, okay? Um, and most of the services, including the one I'm using, have usually got software that assigns it automatically to you. But I'd rather show you where it's actually set. Okay. Now in here, I've got my IP address and all this set by my router. And, and I've got um, just to set my DNS server here. Okay. So I'm just going to set my smart DNS server. Uh, I'm going to blur this out in the video just for safety sake. Um, you can't actually use it anyway unless you subscribe to the service. Uh, and there we go. And I'm going to OK that, close it, and that's it. There's no software. There's no um, conf uh, complicated configuration. In fact, most of them was just click on a, a little software tool to apply it. Now, let me go back. Let me go back to the BBC iPlayer. And this, what this will do is actually control part of my connection and hide my location, okay? So whenever I go to a website, it will just basically control what that website sees about me. For the BBC, it will make sure I'm in the UK, which is fine because that's where I want it to be. <coughs> there you are. I'm just starting um, uh, BBC iPlayer and there's Wimbledon. Andy Murray just won the first set of Wimbledon, second round. I'm going to pause that now, uh, which is fine. You would expect that to work. But now if I go to Hulu, 
um, and watch this. I try and watch that program that I couldn't watch before. Um, if you remember, I got blocked. Um, this time I go in, uh, I'll, these are the adverts and the program will start after that. If I go to something called like Netflix, um, I can use my normal Netflix account, but here I won't log in to save with my account. But you can see now if I log in now using, you obviously have to have a Netflix subscription. Um, you'll go into the American version rather than the UK version or the German version or the French version, Canadian version, whatever. You will always go to the US one because my DNS is set um, in that way. Uh, so Smart DNS will control and filter so you can access any site you like, you know? Um, the Smart, um, the US version of Netflix got about five times as many um, shows as the UK one. So this that's all there is to it. At the moment, it doesn't route your connection like a, a VPN or a proxy. It works at exactly the same speed. It only filters certain bits of information just to hide your location. Um, it costs uh, five, about four or five dollars a, mo uh, a month, I think. Um, basically the price of a drink once a month um, for this sort of service. It's incredibly easy to use and incredibly effective. Um, you can see in the link below uh, and on my video, look in the description there, you can see a link through to the service that I use. It's well worth the investment. Try it for a month and see what you like. Um, it'll change your internet uh, browsing completely. You can watch anything you like anywhere in the world, pretty much. Um, the only one little downside to it is it is linked to your specific IP address. So if your IP address changes a lot, you have to re-enable it. Uh, mine changes once every couple of weeks. If I shut off my router, so I'll have to re-enable the service. It's basically just going to website and clicking on a button, but you do have to do that. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and... I recommend trying this service now. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.